thank you, uh, General Jones, uh, for the kind introduction. Um, Peter Farm, thank you for the invitation and uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good afternoon. It, it, it's a good, it's a pleasure for me to be back uh, in Washington, D.C., and to have the opportunity uh, for this discussion. During this time of interesting uh, political developments around the world, let me start by putting a few things in perspective. Uh, I, I'll be very brief, and I think we shall save uh, a lot of time for broader discussion. Overall, Africa and African aspirations are rising, even as some countries and regions <coughs> advance uh, faster than others. Economic growth continues to be strong, driven by better governance, improved well-being, regional integration, and business-friendly reforms. There are examples of success that perhaps do not receive as much attention uh, as uh, our problems. For instance, the, if you look at what happened in West Africa not so long ago, the commendable handling of uh, the Gambian crisis by the West African region, ECOWAS, uh, the leaders there sat and decided and determined what uh, to do about the situation in Gambia and resolved uh, the problem peacefully. Africa is looking uh, to future growth uh, shaped by favorable demographics, technological innovation, and urbanization. However, we still lack a strong uh, and unified voice that clearly uh, communicates Africa's ambitions and positions on the global stage. The recently adopted resolutions for institutional reforms aim to make the African Union financially sustainable as well as more relevant and effective. Although current political dynamics here in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere are causing anxiety, there is a, a silver lining uh, for Africa. So we continue to see uh, improvements in a different parts of our continent. For decades, the United States has adopted a monolithic approach to Africa. Uh, it's time for fresh thinking uh, on the assumptions that underlie policy across administrations. It's really an opportunity to shape relationships with the United States and other global partners based on Africa's priorities and ambitions. In particular, this engagement needs uh, to shift from a humanitarian focus to building productive partnerships, especially in business, strategic development, and security. Uh, in with these few remarks, uh, uh, just uh, invite you to a broader discussion. I think uh, 
uh, that may stem from uh, these points I have raised. And I wish to thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a very interesting conversation.